Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Well, you know, today I was going to show a video on how I put together my Mackenzie Child's Inspired Wreath. But guess what? Yeah, I messed up. I thought I was recording a few times and I wasn't. So I don't have as much footage that I wanted to show you for a whole video. So today I'm going to show you the footage, what I do have of putting the wreath together. Then we're going to put the wreath up here and we're going to get started decorating. How about nutcrackers? Lots of them. So let's get going. Well, this is what I'm going to be putting in to my wreath that I made from two separate ribbons. And I made three of the single and two of the double. And I just took this red ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby and I already had the Harlequin ribbon. And you know, if I could find my glue gun, I would actually be gluing them. So I just did that and took some wire around the ribbon. And like I said, these are the pieces, how they turned out. And they're gonna be tucked in here and there in the wreath. Now that I've done that, the next thing are these shatterproof ornaments that I got at Michael's. And I'm gonna be inserting a few of these. And you can see I placed them around. And I might be adding a few more of those. I'm also gonna add some of these berry and bead picks that I got at Michael's. Now that I've placed those around, I will be adding these hydrangea pieces. I thought I had some, couldn't find them, I found two. So I took them apart. And I'm also gonna use these picks because I have these in my garland on the fireplace mantle and I think it will tie in nicely. Well, here is how the wreath turned out. I actually added a few more things. I have the little gold curlies that I found. It's actually one pick that had two on them. And so I cut them up and stuck them in because I figured it needed a little bit of gold. So now let's go see what it looks like above my fireplace mantle. So here's the wreath above the mantle. And we need to do a little bit of cleaning here since it's a grapevine wreath on the back. It shed a little bit. And here is all my garland that I had done earlier. And I thought about adding a few more things to the garden, but uh, I'm going to be decorating a little bit different. I don't want to get too carried away with the garland. But I really love how this wreath turned out. And it's a lot better than paying $395 for it. Definitely. Now, I'm going to have to get all my nutcrackers, because that's what I'm going to be putting on here next. The first thing I've added is my Mackenzie Child's Nutcracker in the center, and then these two shorter nutcrackers on each side. And I actually raise these up by putting a small piece of a 2x4 underneath because the short ones are a little too short. Next, I added the topiaries that I made last year on each side. And instead of putting them in the urns that I had, I have to put them in little glass bowls to elevate them up. Then I have one nutcracker, my little bit taller ones on each side of the topiary. And I've added another tall nutcracker on each side to those. And then I got a little bit smaller one. I put it more in front of the other two. Now I've added another one on each side. And I know it's kind of hard to see, but I added one more towards the front on each side. So now I have five on each side. Now I've added these little shorter ones more closer to the middle. And 
yes, more nutcrackers are coming. Okay, so here is the final nutcrackers. I just added two of these shorter ones on each side of the Mackenzie Childs one here, as you can see. And I am going to call it quits. I have more nutcrackers, but that's all I'm going to put up here for today. So let's get a closer look. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the video today. And you know, I, I do love how this turned out. I wish I could have done something a little bit different. But as I've said before, I don't have all my unpacking done on my Christmas. So I'm basically doing what I got unpacked because I did unpack all my nutcrackers and my Santas. And I could have put more nutcrackers on here, but uh, I think I did enough <laughs> for today. So let's see, I'm still gonna be working on my breakfast nook area over there. I'm going to be finishing up my hot cocoa bar in there, and I'm going to be doing a tablescape. So hopefully I can do a little bit of that today and maybe finish it up tomorrow and get a video up for you. So I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.